Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, February 13th. It's the final Saturday after the Epiphany and the scripture for this service, Psalm 43 and Philippians 4, verse 10 to 20. And please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. And forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Psalm 43, and please recite it with me. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation, and deliver me from the deceitful and the unjust. For you are the God of my strength. Why do you cast me off? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacles. And then will I go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. Upon the harp I praise you, O oh God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. A reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 10. I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned for me, but had no opportunity to show it. Not that I am referring to being in need, for I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have little, and I know what it is to have plenty. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well, well fed and of going hungry, of having plenty and of being in need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. In any case, it was kind of you to share my distress. You Philippians indeed know, what, know that in the early days of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, no church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, except you alone. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me help for my needs more than once. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the profit that accumulates to your account. I have been paid in full and have more than enough. I am fully satisfied now that I have received from Ephroditus the gifts you sent a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. And my God will fully satisfy every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen.
Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Send us your light and truth, and lead us into your holy house. Let us come to your altar with exceeding joy to praise you and to give you your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.